college students hatch elaborate plan to rid apartment of rat without killing it. If you have a rat problem but don't want to use a mousetrap, a group of women in Pittsburgh will show you how it's done. After being told the exterminator wouldn't be able to make it in time, Duquesne University students Jody, Logan, Brianna, and Meg decided to take matters into their own hands. Their plan? Seal off all escape routes so that the rat only has one way out, the front door. Next, one of them coaxed the rat out of the bathroom. When it ran out, Logan was standing on a mop bucket ready to knock the rat down the stairs with a mop. After bouncing down the stairs, the rat was batted out of the house by Logan's boyfriend, Bo. Jody recorded the incident and posted about the ordeal on Twitter with the caption, We came up with this ridiculous plan to get this rat out of our house and it actually worked! Bye, b****! The video has since been retweeted more than 120,000 times. Some commenters hailed the women as heroes, while others expressed sympathy for the poor animal. Jody told BuzzFeed they caught another rat in a trap last year, but this time they wanted to try to free the rodent and not kill it. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Keep watching for more stories about rats. Cheeky rat sneaks into incubator and takes a bite out of a premature baby. This cheeky rodent is about to get its comeuppance after sneaking into a hospital incubator and taking a chunk out of a premature baby. The public health catastrophe took place a couple of weeks ago at the dilapidated 40-year-old Western Regional Hospital in Belize, although the shocking video of the rat attack aftermath has only just emerged. Reports said that the ravenous rodent snuck into the incubator, whereupon he proceeded to take a bite out of the young child's toe. <laughs> Alerted to the attack by the poor baby's cries, the shocked nurses then quickly removed the distressed infant from the incubator before dousing the offending creature with a can of Sheltox insect repellent. The game of rat and mouse then continues as the nurses try several times, unsuccessfully, to pull Ratatouille from the incubator before one of them finally manages to grab a hold of his tail. The nurse then beats the rodent to death with a broom handle. And in case you were wondering, the baby was discharged a few days later after receiving a clean bill of health. The same cannot be said for the hospital. And this is why you don't sleep on the subway. New York subway rats are among the city's finest residents. So amusing, they've gone viral on the interwebs. People generally don't mind them. That is, until they get all up in your face. Literally. Commuters on the 3 a.m. 7 train in Manhattan didn't realize that they had a furry stowaway until they saw a giant rat crawling across the floor. While some ran away, 31-year-old Anthony Lin quickly took out his phone ready to record the huge rodent. The rat quickly crawled up a sleeping man's leg and onto his neck before the unfortunate passenger woke up. Terrified, he ran screaming into the next car. And the rat, well, now he's famous. So unless you want to be cuddled by Master Splinter and his rodent relatives, maybe keep both eyes wide open on the commute next time. Rat stuck on escalator, a metaphor for life's futility. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Dead rodent found in Subway Sandwich in Oregon. Finding something nasty and unexpected in your food at a restaurant is the last thing you want. When Jay Armstead and Matt Jones went to the Subway restaurant in Lincoln City, Oregon for their lunch break, they were shocked to find a rodent in the spinach of a sandwich. 
Jones documented the incident by snapping a picture and a subway employee gave them a full refund. Following the discovery of a rodent in the spinach, the entire contaminated stock was disposed of and the restaurant passed a health check. Unfortunately, for previous customers, they unknowingly ate spinach that came in contact with the rodent, which is believed to have gotten into the sandwich from the bagged spinach rather than coming from somewhere inside the restaurant. Jones reportedly called Subway headquarters customer service to complain and ask that other customers be notified about the rodent, but he said they laughed and said that would be impossible. Cheryl Connell, director of Lincoln County Health and Human Services, said that although it's not very appetizing, the risk of someone getting sick from eating spinach from the same bin as a rodent is pretty low.